from that we have this really cool collaboration between bone soda and salomon on my favorite salomon model which is the xt6 um xt4s for me feel a little bit or look a little bit flat i don't like how they wear in and um, they kind of lose all their shape they kind of remind me of the old converses before the 70s were put out they had a tendency when you wore them too much they would kind of just lose any kind of form or sturdy or rigidness they, they had and then when they put out the converse 70s it felt like you could wear those things into the ground that they still have that really nice almost triangular shape to them in terms of its kind of overall look and i think the xc6 will do the same sort of thing you wear them in you batter them but they still maintain their fucking form and i have a, have a pair so i can really attest to that and definitely for me they are my favorite model from all of the fucking salomon lineup so it's good to see bone soda collaborating on these and um colorway wires you have this really really nice almost i must say washed out pink almost lilac purpley color on the inside with the mesh with this really nice pattern similar to the pattern they have here the kind of um it's almost like a webbed it, someone could replace someone could probably say it might look like the residue of like you know human ejaculate all over it but i do like more sort of a tipexy spider-man sort of pattern or spider web pattern on the upper and then you've also got this kind of off-white counter with the cage and you've also got the same thing with the um, bottom bit of the upper here just before the midsole that's done in this kind of off-white ivory type of color and of course the salomon logo in boston there you've got some nice tubular lace is there none of that rope um elastic -y nonsense um especially with the whole pull tab thing which i fucking hate a normal tongue of course that you see on the xt6s and bob's your uncle granny's your aunt now for me personally i'm not the biggest fan of all black midsoles and all white sorry i'm not the biggest fan of light uppers all black midsoles and all all black outsoles i like it if you're gonna do an all black outsole or all black midsole sorry and outsole to have the upper be somewhat dark that's why i think the jowns that we just spoke about about earlier which are over here that's why i think these jowns work really well because the upper is kind of dark you've got this really dark olivey type of tone with the blacks on it and of course some of the grays involved and then you've got the fucking black midsole that's how i think those things work the best personally for me anyway i don't really like when it's like a light color like this on the top this white kind of pinky color and then it's got the black midsole it kind of makes them look a little bit too clumpy weird big i'm not even sure how to describe the look of them but if you see it um you can't really unsee it personally for me like that black midsole with the dark upper works far better than how it does here with this color but still i like that the fact that they're a collaboration because most likely you know it's easy to tell that these are a special edition because everybody in london and probably most metropolitan or hip cities in the in the world is fucking obsessed with salomon shoes and these sort of stand out a bit more because of the color where you're not really going to get these you know regularly in a pair of you know in a size or something so maybe that alone is what makes them worth it to get um but it's just the midsole thing i'm not really a fan of but i do think once you look down on them like that pattern that kind of spider web um sort of print pattern on there looks really good the black tongue with the contrast of the fucking white laces looks really cool and i actually do like how this color of the black sort of the, the sorry the um, what would you call it the little tip that kind of pops up here at the front of the shoe I like the contrast of how it kind of contrasts with the white in here. So that kind of looks quite cool. I'm not going to lie. It does really look quite nice. Um, let's see what they say here on the blurb. It says, following the release of their collaborative friends and family RX slide, which is this one down below, right? I fucking hated this slide. I'm not the biggest fan in general of like trainers made into slides. There's something about it I've always hated. I think if you're going to make a slide, make a slide. I hate the kind of hybrid shit. Like I think there's, I think even Nike put out an Air Force One that looks like a slide, right? They just fucking cut the back off and make it. Like, come on, bro. If you're going to make a slide, make a slide. Don't just make one where you just take a trainer and you cut the fucking heel off. I fucking hate it. So never been a fan of that model. So I didn't really like that collaboration when they dropped, but I actually do like these XC6s. So let's continue. London-based creative imprint Bone Soda has teamed up with Solomon to unveil their second collaboration, the XT6 Expanse LTR. Solomon have some of the worst names for their shoes, isn't it? Why can't you just call it XT6? Why think XT6 Expand LTR? I'm sure there's some technology, but they need to find a better way to call what to call their shoe models. They don't really have a good pop or ring to them. Do you know what I mean? Like Nike and Adidas still have them beat on that regard. Like XT6 Expand LTR. I was like, come on, name them after a crave or something. Name, 
just name a shoe after what's his name um after the guy from fucking emmy leon door he's done enough numbers for you anyway name a shoe after joe fresh goods you know the fucking jfgs or something like allow the fucking ltr expanse xt it's like jesus christ sounds like morse code anyway continue as a whole the shoe represents a connection between being active constantly moving and living freely in a universal form all right it's exactly the same ethos bone solo lives by having recently opened his own creative hub titled dijonus how did he say that dijon Digions, Digions, a purposeful and modular space that allows like many people to learn new skills, connect with peers, and foster creative thinking. So, like every other space, isn't it? But I like it. I like how you have to always kind of reinvent this idea of a collaborative space where you can buy zines and you can take little pictures of yourselves and you can shoot the shit, play cool music, maybe DJ in the corner, have some drinks, right? You have to always kind of find new ways to make those spaces make sense in the new in the new era. But still, big up them for putting it out there because I'm sure the kids are connecting with it and loving it. Let's see now. Bone Soda's latest creation with the Solomon has been unveiled as support the to support the foot while this graphic web graphic represents the support of the community really bone soda's lace creation from solomon has been unveiled to support the foot while his web graphic presents represents support for the community yo hypebeast writers need to be fucking they, they need to be arrested and thrown in jail additionally the shoe is an is an ergonomic approach to living life in color what's ergonomic about this like i guess technically all shoes are ergonomic but come on bro um designed with a full grain and leather upper the shoe has been crafted provided long wear and durability while the agile chassis um tm skeleton gives further stability so basically that tm skeleton thing is kind of what's that word called? what was that nike thing called with the fucking strings it's sort of like their copy of that in it that technology because I remember Nike had this technology where it was like um, these sort of web things or whatever that was on the... It kind of worked really well. I remember I had a couple of running shoes that had a sort of thing. I remember it was undercover running shoes, that kind of Gayosku line. And they had this weird web design on these sides where essentially once you put your laces through the lace hoops and you tie them, the, the idea was that those little web designs had a bit of give in them so that they would kind of, you know, um, clasp your foot a little bit tighter on the outside so that they wouldn't move around too much. So I guess these free a type letters are the same sort of idea where they have some sort of binding in there or some sort of support or some sort of web system where when you pull them on the lace tabs they sort of like tighten on the outside maybe but it seems very nike i wonder if nike are okay with them copying that technology but let's see the sensi fit tm is used to cradle the foot from the out midsole and with the lace system see that's what i said already there um offering a secure snug and virtually customized fit you can find a close look at the skeleton available and it's going to be available on november 16th so they already dropped they probably already sold that anyway let's actually double check fucking um what's it called let's actually see if they're available on StockX, so because they might have actually already been sold out, but let's see what StockX is saying about them. Let's see, uh, Bone Soda New Balance XT was it XT6, right? Let's see, we've got the we've got the slide on here, but it doesn't seem like they see have the XT6s, even though it says it's gone November 16th. What day is it now? Is that why I'm bugging out? Oh, it's a seven, yeah, okay. So, the rest of dropped already. So, why aren't they listed on here? Did they release already? And no one's got a pair yet to resell, probably. Maybe that might be the case. But you've got the slide here that's already going for. Let's see how much the slide's going for in terms of resale. Let me get up on the screen there so you can see with me. So, we've got the um, Salomon RX slide that was also a collaboration with Bone Soda, the 3.0. If that's how bad the 3.0 looks, I'd hate to see what the 2.0 looks like. Because honestly, I hate sneaker slide type of things. Like, they look fucking awful personally for me that actually looked better as a sneaker because it's got that nice little sock neoprene design here but as a slide no thank you i don't want to slide like that i actually don't want to slide that fits that snugly actually i want my slide to be loose and you know have my feet kind of you know i want that kind of sound where my feet are kind of getting clapped you know <laughs> that's what i want i don't want these fucking snug slipper neon pre neoprene type fucking gizmos on my toes give me something to slap on Okay, so far we don't have the StockX one. All right, fair enough. I'm waiting for the price on these to see what the price is. It's not telling me. Unfortunately, my computer is loading like an absolute snail. But yeah, we don't have the other Solomon shoes. They're not actually listed on here, to be honest. Let's see if we can kind of get them up on here. But let's see if we can get them up on the search. Let's see what we can find here. Because I'm surprised that these aren't available to purchase right now, actually. Especially on StockX. I thought they'd have them already available once they've already dropped on the 17th but i guess maybe i was the one that was incorrect and in the know and wasn't in the know maybe it was me 
maybe it was me yeah so far only one shoe there from solomon okay fair play well i guess you have to check them out when they do release in general but so far i have no inkling as to when they're going to drop or if they're available to purchase right now it doesn't actually seem like that's the case um we don't actually see them anywhere here okay let's see here um let's see what soul retriever says in terms of location whether you can fucking drop or whether they're available to purchase maybe they're not even available on resale sites because no one actually went to resell them okay they're available to release to buy now was it released once one site released already on solomon in the united states and nowhere else so you can buy them now and go and slam your slam jam are selling them okay cool for how much 165 145 damn son they are not cheap are they 145 oh no they're 160 actually even more expensive damn bone soda x66 expense vanilla okay so vanilla ice the color i thought it's like an ivory it's more vanilla ice and the the purple or the pink is more of a pastel lilac to be fair they look really good here that product shot i think the lookbook images don't actually do them justice i'm gonna be honest the look of lookbook images kind of dust them out but these product shots from slam jam they make them look far better they look really hard i actually love that whole entire black midsole especially with the shiny plastic um you know what's that what's that technology called acs counter thing on the back that looks really cool i'm not gonna lie these look really nice i'll, I'll actually wear these in a the heartbeat they look really cool oh and the back heel tabby thing if i'm not mistaken is that sort of like a what's that material there is that like a suede different new bucky suede you know i'm a sucker for new buck and suede but that that i like how it's kind of dyed a little bit here on the outside so because i'm assuming once you wear these out especially if it's different materials you have a different type of um wear and tear and aging and whatnot and dying on certain parts similar to how the tom sack shoes were where they'll purposely per pick up dirt and age in different ways so you have these different tones and shit going on there i really like these man these look really really fucking cool and you got a nice little bone soda hit on the tongue there as well yeah these are really nice these are one of my favorite new bands i've seen in a while to be fair very very well done so big up them you purchase them if you want have they actually got them on my side still here uh emo went back and stuff okay cool all sold out my size all gone as well <laughs> they're fucking cunts but yeah big up them absolutely love them um can't wait to see what else they put out in the future move